We are going to continue graphing linear inequalities, these last two examples in uh, part C. <clears throat> so what we learned in the previous lesson was to graph linear inequalities. You first of all find out the boundary line, which is finding the x and y intercepts, and then determining which side of that boundary line is, is one expression greater than or equal to the, or less than or equal to the other expression. Uh, that's generally not too hard as long as we have an x and a y intercept for our boundary line. In the next case, what you'll notice is we have <clears throat> only one coordinate. So this is a special case where we are graphing the line x is equal to 4. And because it's an or equal to here, That means that it's going to be a solid boundary line. So we learned in a special case scenario that x equals 4. You just draw a point where x equals 4, and we know that it's going to be a vertical boundary line here. Okay? So that's your boundary in this particular case. We only have one point because it's a vertical or horizontal line. Uh, next we're going to do is take any test point because we want to know which side of that boundary line is going to be shaded. So we're going to... <clears throat> test 0, 0. That's the easiest one to test. So we are going to test 0, 0. So we substitute it into the inequality. Uh, since we only have an x in our inequality, we're just going to see a 0 greater than or equal to 4. That answer is no. So 0, 0, that is a no, which means the opposite side is a yes. Okay. Now the last thing that we are, are going to look at here is or what are called restrictions. In this particular case, what we saw in a previous example is when the restrictions are integers, we have to put dots on all of the integers in the solution region. Uh, this one has the letter W in our restrictions. Now what that means, the W means whole numbers. And what that is is only positive integers. So if we look at certain points, or for example, uh, <clears throat> these points here, that maybe I'll just put dots on, these are all positive integers. However, the points below in the solution region, <clears throat> so for example, this point right here, is the point positive 6, negative 4. So positive 6 and negative 4 is not whole numbers because the negative 4 is a negative integer. So this part of the solution region is not included. So I'm just going to put a big fat x through it. So that part is not to be included. So the only whole number solutions are these ones here. Okay, uh, let's do one more example. Let's go ahead and graph the linear inequality. In this particular case, again, we're going to graph the boundary line. So we're going to graph where 2y plus x equals 0. So I'm going to get the y-intercept by substituting x equals 0. So we have 2y plus 0 equals 0, or 2y equals 0. And if we divide by the coefficient 2, 0 divided by 2 is 0. So my y-intercept is 0. And if you've done enough practice, you will know that the x-intercept is also going to be 0. It's impossible to have a y-intercept of 0 without an x-intercept of 0. So here's, uh, but I can show you, 2 times 0 plus x equals 0. So we'd have x equals 0. So in this particular case, in order to have a line, we need two points. But at this particular point, we only have one unique point. Uh, what we've mentioned before is you can choose any other point. I'm going to choose x equals 1. So what that means is my other point is going to have an x-coordinate of 1 and figure out what y is. So if I put in x equals 1, so we have 2y plus 1 equals 0. I could subtract 1. The opposite of adding 1 is subtracting 1. So we have 2y equals negative 1. And divide by the coefficient 2, we have y equals negative 1 half, which is the same as negative 0.5. So that's a coordinate. When x equals 1, y equals negative 0.5. So that line, there's the point, x equals 1, y equals negative 0.5. Uh, that point would look something, or this line, sorry, the boundary line would look something like this. However, the error that I've made in that particular line is that this is not, 
not or equal to. So because the two expressions are not equal to each other, uh, what that means is the boundary line is not included, which means it's going to be a dotted boundary line in this particular case. Okay, so here is our boundary line. Uh, the other tricky thing about this inequality, we are trying to find out in the next part which side of that boundary line is where uh, 2y plus x is greater than 0. You cannot choose to test the point 0, 0 because it's on the boundary, so you have to choose some other point. Uh, probably one of the easier points that I can see here. There's lots of easy points that you could try. Uh, I'm going to test the point 2, 2. That seems like an easy point to test. So I'm going to substitute 2 in for x and 2 in for y into the inequality. So is 2 times 2 plus 2 greater than 0? So is 4 plus 2 greater than 0? Is 6 greater than 0? The answer to that is yes, which means the answer to any point in this entire side is going to be yes, and this side is going to be no. So as far as my, what my solution looks like, it looks like this. Okay. And finally, with the restrictions, uh, we've looked at what i means. i is integers, w is whole numbers, and r here means real numbers, which is essentially all numbers. So we don't have to worry about uh, integers, negatives, positives. All of the points in this region satisfy the inequality where 2y plus x is greater than 0.